Hi everyone, Brian Bone here, back with another Red Team tip for the week of February the 6th. This week, we're going to take a look at Cortex XDR, Palo Alto's endpoint agent, and we're going to bypass it. Now, shout out to Mr. Docs and his article on how to do these bypasses that came out last year that kind of inspired uh, this research. It has changed dramatically from what he was able to do. Palo improved things quite a bit, but we're still able to bypass them in multiple different ways. A couple uh, non-OPSEC safe now that he showed, you will get caught if you attempt them. So I just wanna show you what's not OPSEC safe and then an OPSEC, OPSEC safe method of doing this. So we'll start here with our Windows 10 host. And we can see we have Cortex XDR. It is connected to the sandbox. Everything is green. We have some events here. We have scans and we have our settings like we would normally see with Cortex XDR. So one of the methods that Mr. Docs talked about was generating a support file. And in that support file, pulling out the password hash and password salt. That no longer works. If you do the generate support file method, you'll end up with a file that is encrypted and you can't, you need a password to open it, right? And you have to go into the customer support portal to get that password to open that within the uh, within what you receive. You get a zip file out, but that password is not the uninstalled password. It's something completely different. So good on Palo for that. That still doesn't uh, prevent bypass though, and we'll show you. So the next method, is if we take a uh, typical command line as an admin. So if I go, who am I? I can see I am an administrator, Hack Lab Clint Barton here. Now, I want to add a registry key to overwrite the DLL that tra traps or Palo Alto XDR uses for its day-to-day -day functions. If you do that and then you reboot the system, you can disable Cortex from working. So we'll try this. We're going to reg add HK local machine system, current control set services, crypt service parameters, reg expand SC service DLL, and then we're going to write hacker DLL in here. And this is not OPSEC safe. It's probably going to catch me and it may stop me if it works at all. Yep, see, Cortex XDR has blocked the malicious activity as a behavioral threat. It knows it's being attacked. If you go to show details down here, it shows exactly what it detected. Behavioral threat, sync modify the crypt service. So this way, if you can get it to work, you're, it's just not OPSEC safe. Most of the time it's gonna be blocked. The next method is editing the registry itself. So if we go into registry editor, and we'll open this up. And we go to that same key that we were trying to edit, which is, let me go back up here. It's H key local machine, current control set. Actually, it's system, current control set, then services, then crypt services. Script service, parameters, and as you can see, the service DLL system root system 32 crypt service DLL. This is the DLL that it uses for Palo Alto XDR. If I change this, in a lot of cases, it will let me change it, but it is another one that is not OPSEC safe. So if I go hacker on DLL, There, it caught me. Now, if you try this one a couple of times, it will work. So this is the kamikaze way of getting by XDR. Um, you edit the registry and you reboot the system. It will then attempt to run that DLL and it won't be there, so it'll fail. And then you get Cortex XDR with a bunch of red on it. But this method does work if you try it a few times. So if you have, you can't do the bypass, you have no way of cracking the password you can do that method. Notice it, it closed regedit there. And if I go into it, it shows these behavioral threats. So I open it back up and I go into events. We can see regedit and cmd.exe 
have been prevented from running. Okay, well, we tried two methods. Let's try a third one. This one is OPSEC safe because you're using the tool against itself. Now within Palo Alto XDR, there is a tool that is used to control its functionality. It's called SciTool. Now it has a password that you have to have to shut down the service, uninstall it from the system, and take action against what it's doing. If you can run that executable and you have the uninstall password, you can then remove or edit Cortex XDR and get it out of your way. Now, I don't recommend fully uninstalling it because then you have to fight with Defender. So you can just disable it, but I'll show you the method. So one of the things I want to highlight though is a tool that I came across when I was doing this research, uh, Cortex XDR Config Extractor by Laocoon Security. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, if I'm butchering it, uh, sorry about that. Uh, but this is a neat tool and I'll show you this, Cortex XDR Config Extractor. Uh, let's run this. I have WSL here running on my system. I'm going to run XDR Config Extractor. And notice I'm mounting C, Program Data, Cyvera, Local System, Persistent, Agent Settings, DB. Now this last file in here is going to change numbers a lot. So I recommend doing this and then tabbing it. And then you'll see the current one. Notice the number changed. Pick the newest one, 01677. And then make sure you give it the full file name, which is LDB. And this sometimes will change right in the middle of you running the tool. So if you get a weird error like that one, just realize it probably changed the database on me. And it sure did. We're at 1682 now. These cycle quite fast. And notice what this is going to give us. This is going to give us a lot of information really fast. Uh, we can see that the ransomware module is on. We can see any excluded hashes, memory protection, local scan exclusions, behavioral threat exclusions, process change. Now this one's interesting, excluded paths or files. If you see excluded paths, this means that you can take advantage of it, right? You can run any code from those paths. Uh, you can see the macro module settings. So if you wanted to use some kind of macro attack. So this is a really neat tool. Uh, here's PEs in the path, excluded paths or files again, DLLs. Uh, here's a DLL you could masquerade as if you wanted to. But the one thing I want to warn you about is their tool does not give the correct agent salt or agent hash, right? There's a method that has changed recently. Their tool is going to give you a different output than what I've done here. I have edited their Python to actually take the step of D, uh, it does hex to base 64. So I'll show you that as well. Let's go over here to another command line. We'll open up a command prompt. And we've got Clint here. And what we want to do first is when they took the hashes out of the support files, they put them in the registry, but they obfuscated them, right? So if I do regquery HQ local machine system, Cyvera policy, organization settings, and then password hash, and I run this, I get this odd string. Well, if you're, if you have a keen eye, this does not look like SHA-512, like it should, right? So if I take this value, and I come over here into CyberChef, and I paste this in. Notice I have from hex 2base64 in here. I paste this value in, make sure. Let me just clear it out real quick, just so that you can see that it's doing this right. It gives me this 8QXBIT with two equal signs at the end. Now that looks more like SHA-512. So what I realized was that these values are from hex to base 64 in the registry. So you get these registry keys out and then you have to do from hex to base 64. So the XDR, uh, the Cortex extraction tool 
doesn't do this just right. It doesn't pull the hashes out where you can use them in the hash cat. Now I fought with this for a few hours before I realized what was happening. Uh, it looks like SHA-512, but it's not. So make sure that you're aware of this and do this step if you're gonna use their tool by default. I'm gonna submit my code back to them after this video to hopefully get that put in uh, so it pulls the hash out the right way. Now, let's go back to our local terminal uh, on our Win10 host. And if you do the same thing for password salt, it will give you the password salt. Now, this is once again, the exact same method. I take this long string, I take it into CyberChef, clear my values out, paste it in from hex to base 64, and notice I get one with an equal sign here on the end. So this is what you need to put into your hash breaker, hashcat, John, whatever you use to find the uninstalled password. Now, my version, well, I added like six or seven lines of Python to their tool, gives the correct matching hashes, right? You can see the two equal signs at the end and the one equal sign over here. This was like six lines of Python, no big deal. So if you're if you know Python, you can easily fix this for yourself. Shouldn't be a big deal. Um, but like I said, I'll submit this back to like Laocoon security after this video so that they can take a look at the code. So final step here is let's get the uninstalled password. So to do that, in most cases, you're going to want to use Hashcat. Hashcat still the standard for cracking passwords. This one is a SHA-512. So if I cat out my xdr.txt here. It's a SHA-512. This is just the number of cycles, 11112. And then you'll see here's our first hash, or this is our salt, all the way up to the equal sign, and then this is our hash. And so you want to run this in the mode of 12100. So this has not changed from what uh, Mr. Docs recommended in his original article. This is the same thing. So I took Rock U and Hobo Rules, and I'm running this on a Mac M1. So I'm doing D1 to pull the Metal API. And I've already cracked this, and I'll show you quickly. I'll just run it without the show. And you can see here's the Metal API. I'm running it on my M1 Macs, and it says, I've already found the password here. So if you do this, uh, it will it was pretty quick on cracking it. I think it took two hours. It wasn't too bad. Um, so if I do dash dash show, we can now see the uninstalled password here is hacker12345 exclamation point. So we'll copy this out. Now we go back over to our Win10 host and we can pop open a command shell. Now we need to go into cd into c colon backslash program files. And then it's Palo Alto Networks, Palo Alto Networks. Then it is Traps, which was the old name for this product. So you go in here, and then you have SciTool in here, SciTool.exe. And this is how you can actually shut it off in an OPSEC safe way. If you have this uninstalled password and you do SciTool.exe, you can tell it to shut off cleanly. So if I just run SciTool here, it gives you all the different methods you can do. But protect is what we're worried about, right? You can shut off the service. You can do all of these things. But it thinks, oh, this is an admin. They've got the uninstalled password. It doesn't trigger. So this is the best method to bypass Cortex-XDR right now. So we'll run SciTool.exe. We'll do protect. We'll do protection, protect, disable, just like this. Uh, I need an elevated prompt. So let's do that. I'll run as administrator. Like I said, you need admin privilege, privileges for all of this. So we'll cd into c colon backslash program files, backslash Palo Alto networks, backslash traps. And we're in there. So we'll run SciTool, exe. Disable or protect disable. 
and it says enter supervisor password. We're going to put in our password that we cracked. I don't know if that pasted in, so it may not have worked. And there we go. It disabled all of the process, registry, file, service, and pipe protections. No alert. This is an OPSEC safe way. And also what this means is that Cortex is disabled. Now in a minute, you'll see these change. Cortex is disabled, but it is not fully uninstalled. So what that means is that protection is disabled. In other words, you can do your, your bad deeds, whatever you need to do on this system. And Windows Defender is still not on. So running with protect disabled, you just have a crippled AV, which is kind of where you want to be from an attacker perspective. You want to have a crippled AV, but the AV is still registered of, hey, I'm still here, right? Uh, it doesn't tell Defender to kick back in and then you have to bypass Defender. So once again, thank you for watching. Uh, this has been our red team tip on bypassing Cortex XDR. Uh, thanks everyone for watching the channel. Keep it up. Um, very happy to keep making these videos. And once again, I'll leave you with hack the planet to defend better. Thank you.